Hey guys, it's DTakes23, and this is a Beyond Good and Evil 2 update. Please forgive the audio because I am currently sick. E3 2018 is proving to be one of my favorites. Not only was I able to meet the wonderful folks developing BGE2, but I also had the pleasure of attending the Ubisoft conference as a star player. But we'll get to that a little bit later. Let's talk about that new cinematic trailer. The captain of the Gata, Dakini, who you met in last year's E3 trailer has gone missing, and Shawnee has taken over as captain. She's led her crew to unexplored territory in space outside of System 3, and I'm guessing it's to search for Dakini. After all, in the last trailer, Dakini had her eye on Moksha's gate, an enigmatic object that can mean different things to different people living in System 3. To some, it signifies hope. To others, adventure. According to Associate Director Emile Morel, Beyond Good and Evil 2 takes place in a part of space where two galaxies are colliding. But we begin in a calm before the storm, nestled in a ring of icy asteroids as big as mountains. And inside, a drunk crew member muddles along while Uma, the chief medical officer of the Gata, practices acupuncture with a bit of a technological twist. When the needles turn red, that means that they're detecting alcohol in the blood. Narrative director Gabrielle Schrager described Uma as a dubious Oracle. I have to say, I absolutely adore Uma's design. I'm kind of obsessed. There's something about her that sets me at ease. She's of Indian origin and she has a jovial presence with a mystical look. She's adorned with Hindu prayer beads and has a marking on her face that reflects that she's a devotee of Shiva. Upon finding that her patient is drunk, Uma contacts the cook, who happens to be someone I know so many of you have been wanting to see, Paige, our companion back from Beyond Good and Evil. And he looks wonderful. Of course, you were likely expecting him, since Michelle Ancel did post a picture to Instagram showing that goofy, lovable face before this trailer was revealed. We move on to catch a glimpse of Knox, dead drunk and probably loving it, Shawnee reports Knox's condition to the crew and continues her patrol around the area. Callum, our chief engineer, he's playing chess with the AI of the ship currently called the Skull. That will likely change, of course. The Skull has an accent BGE fans will hold dear because it's reminiscent of Secundo, the AI from BGE. Bet we could use your space chili to overclock our engines. Negativo, mi amor. Only you can melt my circuits. <laughs> We're in the middle of a war, son! You understand nada, bacon bread. <laughs> Control of the species is mucho importante. She's accessible via other skulls within the Gata. In last year's trailer, she was also located on the deck of the ship, and I wouldn't be surprised if she's available in other areas as well. When the crew appears to be under attack, we see several hybrids among them, including shark and rhino hybrids. Nox spots something coming their way while on the crow's nest, and Shawnee's ship gets tossed around. Once she regains control, she's ready to kick some ass. Remember, you have the ability to hop in and out of your ship and dash around with your jetpack to take care of business. One of the moments that made my mouth fly open was when this massive spaceship appeared. But man, Shawnee gets out and shows what she's got. That blew me away. That was my absolute favorite part of the entire trailer. By the way, that extra layer of protection that appears when Shawnee gets out of the ship, that has been confirmed as a feature. However, right now, it's in its early stages in terms of appearance. By the way, those arms coming from the huge spaceship and cradling the Gata serve as entry points for enemies. The moment that got everybody talking was the appearance of a young Jade with alpha sections at her disposal. She looks fierce, and she clearly lets her blade do the talking. Emile Morel teases at the legend of Jade. There are lots of legend in the universe of Beyond Good Evil 2 about this young girl uh, slaying pirates, hunting down pirates in this universe. So everybody's afraid of that young girl and she's something of a legend. And Paige will likely have something to say about that. He recognizes her, but what do you think she'll say in return? 
I know a lot of people had issues about this game being a prequel. Don't underestimate the depth of this story. Over on Instagram, Michelle Ansel posted several pictures, including this one, showing images of Callum, Uma, and Paige, all which are available for you to download via the BGE2 fan kit. It comes with desktop wallpapers, phone wallpapers, logos, headers for Facebook and Twitter, profile pictures, and icons. This next IG picture shows pre-alpha footage of Ganesha City. This is a real life-size statue of Paige. He's currently behind closed doors, but boy, I got to see him in real life and I absolutely love him. Tuk Tuks are pretty handy, it seems, as you can park them vertically while you get a pint, a haircut, and a shave. This is one of the main doors of Ganesha City, and by main doors, I'm guessing Michelle Ancel means entrances, which makes me wonder, what lies outside of these doors? I was looking at this picture before I went to the private BGE2 demo. I thought it was just showcasing different clothing available for Shawnee, but oh my god guys, the plot thickens. In Beyond Good and Evil 2, once we arrive to System 3, we discover that everyone has become infertile due to radiation, which now makes perfect sense if you think about it because of the concept art that we've seen that shows radiation signs around the area. Because of this, cloning becomes a necessity, and the different iterations that we've seen of Shawnee are actually different individuals with the same DNA strain. They're freaking clones! <laughs> This explains so much in terms of how character creation will be used. You'll be able to create and customize a character from different DNA strains of clones that are already in the world. And every clone is pretty much built with a specific purpose. But of course, you're not tied down to that. After all, we're space pirates. We go against the mold. It's nuts and I love it. This opens up so many possibilities within the plot, especially with the arrival of our apparent enemy, Jade. Now, before we move on to the next picture, I do want to mention something about the demo. I feel like if you were a fan of Mass Effect, the first game, you're going to absolutely love Beyond Good and Evil 2. And I'm saying that not only because of the vibrancy and fluidity of this world, but I'm also saying it because of the gameplay. You'll be able to equip augments on your weapons. We didn't get to see everything, but I can confirm that so far we have a flame-like augment, an ability to slow down enemies and paralyze them as well. And there will be more augments. Now, one of the features that I absolutely loved was the spyglass. It gives you a tactical advantage. You can zoom in on your enemy and view information about that specific enemy. So you'll be able to tell things like, what faction they're from or what company they're with and also what kind of buffs they have. So that gives you the option to create the perfect loadout. Now, as I mentioned in previous videos, the Spyglass will have more options, but this is specifically what I saw in this private demo. Aerial combat is looking very smooth this early in development. That combat was shown with missiles and machine guns, but more will be added to this. And remember, you will have the ability to customize your ships with different colors, patterns, and icons. Morgan Yon also posted to IG expressing his love for the BGE2 team. This is a piece of concept art that he created for Beyond Good and Evil 2. He says, It's been showcased at the E3 2018 Ubisoft conference while producer and narrative director spoke about the game. As an artist, that's a hell of a reward. Proud to be part of the team. Images of weapons seen in the E3 trailer were posted by Twitter account at BGE Myth, and I do recommend that you follow that account. These images were created by the same artist that created the key art that you've seen all over the place. If you're interested in collaborating with other creative minds to make music, art, or a piece of writing that will have a chance to appear in the game Beyond Good and Evil 2, sign up to hit record and bookmark the BGE2 page on that site. You can find the links in the YouTube description below to help you along the way. Fellow content creator Yagman X and I have already got the ball rolling for those of you interested in musical works. The BGE2 team contacted us a while back, and of course we were under NDA, so like the ninjas that we are, we busted out a starting seed for you to remix. I'll have a more detailed video about this later this coming week, but there's also a project video on Hit Record available that goes over the information. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, click like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!